All right, guys, so I know a lot of you are always thinking about, you know, how do I fast track my welding career? I don't want to spend a lot of lengthy time in the training program. What I really want to do is earn that money doing what I love, welding. Well, today I'm with our Joe Morales, and he's going to explain to us how he learned a lot of information, skills, certifications, experiences in a short amount of time, uh, and now he's getting ready to catapult into his welding career. So, Arturo, tell us about uh, you. Where do you come from? Well, my name is Arturo Morales. I'm from Kingsport, uh, Tennessee. And uh, really, it's funny how I stumbled upon KWA. Yeah, um, I just went to a job as a helper, um, where back where I live, met two guys that came to KWA, yeah, and that was their first job. And they told me, if you really want to learn well, KWA is a school, but you got to really want it, because they told me a lot of kids struggle with the program. If, you know, they're not spending that time in the shop. And I'm just like, well, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to go all out. Done. Yeah, and, and that brings up a, a good point because I'm sure you've been here in the last two weeks. Um, and while I think most schools, if you if you join their program, you probably finish. Like the attrition rate is probably next to nothing. Like 100% start, 100% finish. But honestly, in the last two weeks, and and this may be something that other schools would hide, we have kicked out when we tossed two students, and we've had three drop, just wash out in the first week. Um, this is not, you know, your your daddy's well school here. This is not a community college. The, the building is not air conditioned. Like we are much more like a job uh, than a school. Like attendance is is kept, and and at twelve absences you wash out. We we drug test. We um, so there's a lot to what you're saying. You, you know you said the guys at the industry you were welcome with said if you're you got to be about it if you're going to go to this school. Um, so man, I appreciate that and the fact that you took that kind of gritty advice and signed up. That speaks a lot to who who you because you kind of I guess knew what you were getting into. Um, so why welding? Uh, well, when I was being a helper, uh, they were just talking to me about it, and I've always known welding was, you know, an option, but I didn't really look into it until this past year. And those guys that came to KWI, that came from KWI, and were there, they like really got me interested in it. And I was like, well, I've never welded. I don't know if I'm any good at it, but I'm gonna throw all my chips on the table, and I'm just gonna go for it. So I honestly did not know that. Uh, so you're saying you came to KWI little to no weld experience. Yeah. So when we started you on that flux core pad plate, yeah. you were learning to strike an arc. And, and so this is awesome because this story, your story, will be one that we've gone from zero to hero in, in less than six months. Um, so so talk about those experiences then. What was KWI hitting the ground running? What, if well, you can remember back then, I mean, yeah. it was just a short time ago, but I know so much has happened. So. <laughs> Well, in the beginning, I knew I knew from the get go that some of these guys are going to come in with more experience than me. So from the get go, I was like, "Well, to make up for that, I'm going to go ahead and start working 16 hours for however long it takes me to get get caught up, or like get to where I know I'll be okay in the program." And because I've never, you know, never struck an art, never done flux core, mig, stick, tig, so I'm like, "Well, I'm going to have to work double." So what some of these guys right. are working on the eight that way I can keep up or you know pass them up. So I just I just knew I had to work hard um, coming in. And that's what I did. Yeah, I think a lot of guys when they start something new, uh, it seems like anymore a lot of guys uh, they, they lean back, they they hesitate, they want to survey you know the landscape before they get started. But not you. You're saying that immediately you understood that you had some ground ground to gain. Uh, I appreciate that. Like, I think I'm spun the same way. I would much rather be over prepared. I don't think anybody standing on the podium, you know, successful, looks back and be like, ah, I, I should have, I should have slept more. I should have taken more time. You know, nobody does that. I mean, it's always that you, that you didn't accomplish your goal and you wished you had put more time and effort into it. Um, so orientation did it seem pretty like the information was up, up to stuff. You felt like you were well informed of what you were getting into. Yeah, well, in the beginning it was all kind of new to me, so I was like, you know, gaining a lot of uh, knowledge just from coming in. And seeing what school's like and uh, I knew I was like yeah this, this is the place that I want to learn and, and uh, yeah and, I mean, it's, it definitely works because I'm in a position right now where I can I can well and I'm pretty happy with what this school offered. So uh, what what were some of the hard things about the, the, the program I guess? What, what are some obstacles that you faced uh, and then how did you how did you overcome those? Well I think the hardest part of the program that I went through was the stick out portion. Stick out pipe for me that just didn't cover natural. So like of course 
I was already working extra hours right. all the time, so you know, and getting different um, guidances from like different instructors, and that helped out too. Because you know, I'm not just having the same instructor all the time, so that definitely helped out. Different, different advice from different instructors, and I finally, I think after like two weeks, I finally picked it up and I, I ran through it. So that yeah. was probably the hardest part of me, though. Right, and so many people, at least on our Instagram, keep dropping, you know, go be a helper, that's the best way. But if you would have chose that route, you would have learned from, from one, one instructor how to do it his way, yeah. and that would have been, you know, back at the campground or hotel, if you both weren't too tired to, to throw in some extra hours, well then, but you're saying here, uh, you can pull as many hours as you want, yeah. because we don't just tie you to your shift. Uh, we're, right now we're running 24 hours a day, so uh, that extra time has helped you a bunch. And uh, like right now we got the six instructors walking the floor, uh, four of them are CWIs, one's a Cali. So you got a lot of experiences, a lot of uh, expertise uh, yeah. leading in and helping you out. So stick out pretty tough. Now, the self-paced program. So that, that had to help you then because we're not locking you into two weeks of stick, two weeks of TIG. You're saying you picked up TIG faster. Yeah. Uh, so you still completed the program early. Uh, and, and because stick took you longer, but other processes you picked up quicker, you know, that, that shrunk the time oh, yeah. you spent there. So what, what was the easiest process for you? The easiest process was probably, uh, probably stick. Probably stick, I picked it up pretty quick. You know, strike like a match and, and run it, keep it tight art. So I picked that up pretty quick on the stick plate. But once I got the stick pipe, like I said, it was a little bit more difficult. Uh, you gotta watch, you know, angles and yeah. all kinds of stuff. But uh, that was probably the easiest process for me to pick up the stick. So stick on plate, easy. Yeah, and then once that, once you got turning them curves, uh, you know, that head radius, that tied you up. All right, yeah. I like it. I like it. Uh, so what do you attribute to? How quick did you had six months here? Yeah. Uh, where, where are you sitting at right now? How much more time would you have left? Oh, I graduated August thirteenth. So I pretty much have like two weeks left, and uh, I've pretty much done everything I wanted. I have uh, eight certs right now. I may try to get one or two more before I leave, but I've tested into local 162. I did all my tests in three days. Now I just gotta wait Monday for x-ray, and if they pass, I'm making $43 an hour plus per damn. All right, that's... And so that's pretty, that's gotta feel pretty good. I mean, you're, you're definitely confident in your skill. You got, uh, and, and we're not just, I think a lot of you need to speaking us up right now. We've got some great opportunities for you guys to skip apprenticeship years. Um, in some cases, go straight to J1, provisional journeyman, um, making top pay. Uh, but we're not just a union school. You've got some non-union. I, I think right. the job you were on in Tennessee, I'm sure it was with yeah, non-union. Non -union. Yeah. Um, and you've got just as many opportunities outside union as in. Right. So we play both sides of the fence. KWI, do you feel like we're biased in any way? No, I mean, y'all pretty much just, you know, let us choose where we want to go, but definitely, like, tell us to, to work hard to, to have that knowledge to be able to well and go wherever you want to go. Yeah, because we, we, could, we could care less. As long as you're employed on the backside and you're happy uh, in a career taking care of your family, uh, that's, all, that's all we care about. Uh, so, finish the program. You still got two weeks to spare, but you've already picked up two extra certs because we sold you, yeah. right? You, you, Kind of stealing off of us a little bit. We're okay with that, right? You, we sold you six certifications. Right. Because you had time left, you're able to pick up extra certs. Tell, tell me about that. How did you pick the, the extra certs you, you uh, chose? Um, well, I uh, chose uh, after the Schedule 10 stainless, which is the last cert. I chose uh, Schedule 10 ink and L because uh, people said it was, they were very similar. So I'm like, well, but I might as well go ahead and get that golden arm hood already. And, there you go. And knock that off the list. And, after that, I did the Inkadel Monster, got that off the list, and next time I'm going for the Chrome Monster. But uh, there's also, you know, copper, nickel, titanium, all kinds of uh, aluminum certs, uh, other type of MIG certs, any, any, all kinds of certs. Uh, pie, uh, what's it called? Pipeline certs. Yeah. But uh, I'm, just, I'm just trying to get the ones that I think will uh, benefit me the most. And, uh, you know, have that knowledge already that way when I get out to the field, I, I know somewhat what I'm doing. And, you yeah. know, I don't look too, too newbie, but... Right. Yeah. You know, and the wanting industry is so broad that, that, honestly, you know, those basic six, we feel like, make you the most employable. It's, yeah. it's the nitty-gritty. After that, you can cater it to, to you know, it, where you want to go in industry next. Right. Um, so you're looking for some specialty pipe type stuff. You're picking yeah. chrome and ink and that kind of stuff. That's great.
So Phoenix, I guess if you could give us the, the number one thing, um, I think I've got three things that I've noticed about you, but what do you think got you the golden home? I think it was my mindset of whenever I was a helper and you know, the kids talking to me, um, the ones that came from Cato, yeah, they were like, yeah, you got you know, they were telling me that not a lot of kids make it through. So if I have the, the ambition to make it through all the way, I gotta, I gotta put the hours in and I gotta really want it or else, uh, you know, I won't make it all the way. So I kept that mindset, and I'm just like, well, I'm not gonna be one of those kids. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it. Right. I accomplish my goal. Yeah, yeah. So I was gonna compliment you on, on discipline, right? Some people can get motivated. Like we can get y'all spun up with some Superman speech today, and that might last. That emotion might last two or three days. But discipline's where it's at. So Arturo's the kind that when he don't feel like it, he, he still goes to work. That his mind is stronger than than this want to do something else, I guess, and discipline is definitely. What about attendance? How's your attendance? I got a permanent attendance, never missed a day. Um, I've never really had some to miss a day for it, but mainly, you know, we pay a lot of money to be here, so I want every day I can to be in there well and practice and right. make sure I'm getting better. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's what I did. I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna miss a day unless I really have to. And I think our hours accommodate, I'm surprised, uh, just letting you know, I'm from, from my chair, how many students schedule goofy things. Like they might say, oh, I had a doctor's appointment or a dentist appointment. But our first shift is six to two, you can schedule. You, you've got time in a business day, right, outside of that to, to make those appointments. And then second shift from two to 10, you can do anything you wanted to in the morning, go to the bank, go to the laundry. Like there's really no reason to be tardy or absent, right? Is that how you feel? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think I think you can definitely schedule, you know, life outside of here pretty well with the schedules they give us. But yeah, I, I know some some guys they schedule funny things. I'm just like, I don't know why you're missing, you know, welcome what, time. What you paying for? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Get on the welcome time you can. That's why I tell them, but you can only do so much. <laughs> right, right, and, and I, I get uh, everything always breaks down into thirds. I'm sure you feel like that. That down here, a third of the guys are, are, are sharpening you. Like there, there's a group that, that is definitely for, and that's who you hang with probably, yeah. um, uh, competing uh, and, and pushing yeah. to be the best you can be. That's awesome, that's awesome. Uh, what about the classroom? So we do a lot of stuff. We Our instructors teach, you know, lecture and, and, and do the theory. Uh, we feel like it's only what you need for industry. It's not a lot of fluff. Like if you're a community college, no history or English class. In addition, we've got that online platform, so you can, now being green, I'm just curious, or new to welding, you said, did you use the online stuff? Like we have a, a section called Green Students. Yeah. It talks about breaking down your TIG rig or, or how to set up the MIG machine. Did you use those? Oh yeah, like when I came in, I knew I was like, hey, I don't know nothing about welding really. So uh, when you guys offered all that, I made sure to look at all the videos. That way I already got an idea of what I'm gonna be doing, what I'm getting into, you know, Make sure I have, you know, knowledge that, so that it can benefit me in the shop and then Clyde for them. And, and the, the good thing about the digital platform, I, I, you, you were staying with us at Camp Guy as far as housing, yeah. internet, Wi-Fi, like you've got a weld machine here, so you, yeah. when you're here, you're welding, but, you, but at, the, at the house, when, when you're off, you can be, you can be studying, looking some things up, right. getting yeah. ready. Yeah, that, I think that's another reason why, like I never really struggled in class either. Uh, I would always, you know, take my test, practice tests, or that day, you know, when I come in class, I take the real test, so I would always pass pretty much everything. Yeah, so you're, you're gonna be leaving us early probably, and, and you're the student we want, right? We, we do, because we preach that. Uh, we know the demographic doesn't necessarily love to study. We, we try to make it as easy and painless as possible, but I'm sure a lot of your peers weren't staying up with you tonight, practicing, taking the test ahead of time, right? <laughs> I was, no, I mean, I knew coming in that y'all offered not just welding, but like, NCCO, NCCR, all kinds of other certs that you can get oh, yeah. that are outside of well. And I'm just like, well, I'm coming from the whole package. I'm getting everything. Right, right. I don't know why you would, right? Now, you speak of one that's, that's pretty tough too academically is that CCO test. Um, I, it's, it's not normal for, for, you know, for everybody to be passing those two written exams. That's pretty tough. So I, how much time and effort did you think you spent preparing for those CCO examinations? Oh, I knew it was going to be tough, so I did the same thing I did with welding. I came in six and hours a day and just went down there and practiced my rigging, uh, well, uh, practicing everything, rigging, signals, whatever, whatever I need to practice, I came in 
And did that for 16 hours a day for that the whole week. I did even well that, that week. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. But that's I don't know. That's the, what we wanted. But, but dude, either way, you 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 did it right, right? Yeah, you're yeah. you're sitting there today uh, ahead of the game, uh, and it sounds like you got some. Job. So, what about the union then? Uh, how how did you get in contact with the union? Uh, how does what does that look like? Well, uh, yeah, they they came down here to visit us. They came to be out. Um, they talked about it. They had showed us uh, how many jobs they got across the country. What's the pay like? Uh, all the benefits and whatnot, and I was like, well, uh, let me give it a shot, test it, and see what happens. Uh, but if everything goes well Monday, and they say I'm clear, I'm clear, I'm gonna, uh, you know, get ready to leave, pay heavy eye, and start making some money. So, how is the testing process? I'm curious. So, when you take monsters with us, for the most part, they're two-hour tests, and that's pretty fast. Like yeah. you got to be on your game and and striking hard right. to get to get that complete. Uh, the reason we do that is it's the quickest time we have seen in industry. Most companies going to give you three or four hours. So I'm guessing, oh, I'm asking, I guess, how did, how did your KDVI testing experience here at this ATF compare with the union testing experience? I think the union testing experience is a little bit more relaxed. Uh, it's not as, the time limits are a little longer, but, you know, knowing that I can still do it in two hours, I busted out all the tests way you know before i hit the time limit because uh, their time limit is five hours for a monster and you know over here's two i did it i did it in about the same time uh, i would take a monster here at kwi so i definitely helped out like knowing that i can i can go slow if i want to but i'm gonna still you know hit it hard try to get it done and move on to the next test yeah we're not saying rush rush good things but at the same time but the welding game is about being efficient if i'm gonna pay a guy if i got two guys i'm gonna hire and they're both great but one can get the job done in two hours and the other takes it in five. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the two hour guy. We can get more production out of that guy. So we're trying to produce guys not only are good welders, but, but I'm knocking it out in a, in a timely manner. Good, good. Uh, Sundays, I wanted to bring that up. You were a regular. Yeah, uh, yeah. definitely uh, awesome to see your face every Sunday. Well, talk to me about the Sundays. Well, why'd you come over? How did, did it help the extra hours? What, how, what was that experience like for you? Yeah, I mean, I think the Sundays are are great great for kids that just want to get extra time and come in i mean here in Flemingsburg, there's not a lot of whole exciting things to do so you might love coming well and uh, i think uh, anytime you can get to well is, is great because especially for me coming in having no experience right i wanted as much time as i could get so i, I don't know how some of these guys don't take uh that you know opportunity to come in on sunday yeah i think it's a it's a great option to come in and you, you picked up on something else for me there. Flemingsburg, not, not very big. We got, we got no Walmart, there's no movie theater. Now we're close, you're, you're 20 minutes away from what I call the, 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 the 3M triangle, Moorhead, Mouse Wing, and Maysville. Uh, and they've got you know, an Applebee's and a Walmart, and a movie theater, bowling alley type stuff. But here, that's what we like about it, there's not much else to do. Uh, we'd like guys to pull those 12s, those 16 hour days. You know, while you're here, just be about it, you know? Um, so good, good. All right, so what are the structures? Like, I guess, and, and you're on camera, so I might be careful, but, but uh, there's a plethora, I think, of, of different uh, attitudes, uh, uh, personalities. Mm -hmm. uh, how do the instructors help in, in the mix with you? I think they all, they all are, are uh, great in their own way. Like, they all know what they're doing, of course. Uh, they all do have, like, they all will make it a little different. And, right. uh, some styles probably work better for me than others, but... They all can definitely like help out in any way, and for me, I think that was that was awesome to get like since I would come in for two or three shifts, I'd get you know views from hey, five, six, seven different instructors. And yeah, I think that, that helped out a lot for me. And then uh, personality-wise, I know we've got some that are, are pretty crusty and gruff, and, and some are pretty laid back and relaxed. Some are high strung and, and, and lots of energy. Um, and, and there's a couple times I, I don't know if you. see where students will grind with those instructors. We'll always back those instructors' plate, no matter what, because in industry, I can't promise you that you're gonna have a nice, cozy, comfortable format. Like you, you guys have to learn, too, how to work for those different personalities, right? I mean, that, that guy is over top of you, so, so some guys are, are, I guess, more relaxed and friendly, and some are more strict and rigid. Regardless, if they're, if they're your employer, then, then you're gonna learn how to get along. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right, so, how confident do you feel? Like you, you haven't hit your first job yet. Did, did you get any co-ops? I didn't do any co-op. Uh, 
Only because I felt like I just still didn't have the you know enough experience like sure. like I wanted to have. But uh, now that I'm pretty much on my final day at KWI, I feel pretty pretty confident with uh, my welding ability. Have you been in and out of a lot of a similar, you know, have you, have you been in your hard hat? Have you been in a, in a, in a fall pro harness? Have you been in the pipe rack? The oh, yeah. other, like, like, what, what other stuff? I, I think a, a lot of times you think of a school and we can picture it, right? I mean, I mean, desk and chair. And then if it's a well time school, you picture in a booth, right? right. Um, with a fixed table, but maybe a chair. I hope not in some of these well schools. Good Lord. Uh, <laughs> but, but what did, how did Kennedy look different than that, than traditional school, school type mentality? Uh, well, for me, I knew I wanted to finish the program. That was my number one priority is finish the program. And uh, I think I finished it with like in four and a half months. So after that, I knew I could, I could relax a little bit, but I hit the simulator so hard. A lot of 2G and 5G, because that's what we'll see in the field, four post welding. I you know, dabbled in everything and played around with everything. And uh, definitely after I gold mined a lot of 2G and 5G welds, because that's probably what I'll see. Yeah, the well tests are typically six, right? But the majority of what you're going to see in the industry is going to be two and five. So good, smart move. Pipe rack, yeah, pipe rack. You've been up there on the scaffold with yeah. Infall Pro, hard hat. I mean, yeah. feel like you would you would feel good right. rolling out of KDVI and rolling in the industry. Yeah. And you didn't you didn't feel green at the at the, at the union hall testing in. If you walked in with your seven gallon bucket and you felt like you belonged. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. I felt like you know KDVI prepared me good. And uh, yeah, I knocked them test in three days. Of the, I think the CWI yeah, thought it was going to take us a little bit longer, but now we finished it pretty pretty quick. Sure, sure. All right, man. Well, so what uh, what's next? I guess we, you know we talk we talk on Sundays anyway, but pretty in depth about you know hoping everybody's got a ten or a twenty year goal. You know you don't if you don't know where you want to be, then it's hard to get going in the right direction. Um, so what is next for for Archer? I know you, you're you know it's either a union or non, but. But that's just a means to an end. Like, what, what are your main goals, Arthur? What do you see yourself in ten years, and, and how is welding going to get you there? Well, uh, in like ten years, uh, I feel it. I, I hope that you know I have a nice house, nice nice cars, <laughs> sure, stuff like that. But like, definitely, like I, I want to be able to make, like take care of my family, so make sure they're good. And eventually, I kind of want to work myself out of welding. Right. So I want to move up. Sure. Change so. You know, welding's awesome, and I love it, but but I eventually want to move on from welding. Yeah. In that way. No, and there's nothing wrong with that. Again, a means to an end, like career opportunities. Um, and there's not very many careers that, that right out the gate, you can make the type of money you're making, um, and then set yourself up, like you said, in your career and in your life. So excellent, excellent opportunity. All right, man, so if you could summarize, well, how about this? I love this question. If, if, if Arturo today could, could whisper back to Arturo starting out, is there anything you would have done different or or maybe better, maybe you've got a couple of peers down here that aren't hitting it so hard. What are, what are three things that you'd say, if you want, if you want to be successful at KWI and thus successful in a career, because I think you, know, you, you feel confident ready to take out of here, what are the three top things um, that, a, that a man or a, or a gal needs to do to, to come at this and get this hard and, and get it quick and be successful? I think uh, three things is you need to be disciplined, you need to put the hours in, and, uh, and definitely don't ask, uh, don't be scared to ask for help if you need help. I think those three things are very important to get this done. Uh, but definitely put in the hours. I mean, there ain't, there ain't nothing that can replace that. The more hours you put in here, I mean, you're only, it's inevitable that you're gonna move on from whatever you're at. Yeah. You're gonna you know, finish the program more than likely. Those yeah, it's at least a one to one ratio. Probably a better on your, you know, the more time you put in, uh, the more you see on the backside. I, I love that. Thomas Jefferson, I think, says that I'm a great believer in luck. I find the harder I work, the more of it I have. And so he, that, that's yeah. a Thomas Jefferson joking with there is, you know, luck. It, it's, <laughs> you know, I work hard and things turn out good. That's how it, that's how it works in life. So I appreciate that. So, Arthur, you got anything else? On the backside? I think we're, I think we're good. We can wrap up now. But if you got any, any, any final words, any final thoughts? Yeah, um, to the new guys coming in, definitely just put the hours in and grind. I, mean, I know it's uh, every, every, uh, even when I started, the KDVI guys that were graduated, they would just tell us man, to, to work hard and they wish they had, yeah. you know, spent more time in the shop or, or did more things while they were here. But, you know, it's, it's easy to move on while you're here. So definitely take it seriously and you 
here to learn to weld. And, and uh, if you do that, you're going to come out here and get welded. Excellent, excellent. We've heard here from Arturo. We wish him luck. Uh, thank you for listening, KBI.